Okay, this question is a good opportunity for us to clarify the differences between magnetic flux, magnetic flux density, and magnetic flux linkage. Let's start with magnetic flux. So there's a solenoid here that's energized uh, by a current. If this iron core is not here, then the magnetic field produced by this uh, coil here would look like this. All right. Uh, if this is the case, then you see that you have quite a bit of magnetic flux in this coil, but nothing here. So the magnetic flux through this coil and through this coil will be different. However, if the soft iron core is there, then the magnetic flux produced by this coil will look like this. Because iron has a very uh, much higher magnetic permeability compared to air, so the flux will all tend to flow within the iron. None of the flux will actually flow to air, which, are, which has a much lower magnetic permeability. Uh, so the key is, there's no magnetic flux leakage. None of the flux produced by this guy leak outside the iron core. If that's the case, then you realize that whatever magnetic flux that's captured by this area here is also the magnetic flux that's captured by this area here. In other words, the magnetic flux seen in this section here is the same as the magnetic flux seen in this section here. They are equal. What about magnetic flux density? The concept of magnetic flux density is the magnetic flux per unit area. So you have the same magnetic flux here and here, but this has a much smaller cross-sectional area. In fact, you can see from this diagram that the magnetic flux density is much higher here. The lines are so, uh, so much more closely packed compared to here. So the magnetic flux density in coil A is larger than the magnetic... So, sorry, I, I used the wrong symbol here. So the magnetic flux density in this region here is higher than the magnetic flux density in this region here. Lastly, um, the concept of magnetic flux linkage applies to a coil with many turns. So the magnetic flux linkage is equal to the number of turns in a coil times the magnetic flux. So again, the magnetic flux for both coils is the same, but because this guy has more turns than this guy, so the magnetic flux linkage of this coil is going to be larger than the magnetic flux linkage of this coil. Uh, let me just write it down. So the magnetic flux linkage we, in this coil with less turns will be less than the magnetic flux linkage uh, in this coil which has more turns. Okay, I hope uh, I've made things clear for you. That's all. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.